Hey everybody, how's it going? Stabman coming right back at you once again today, and today I'm going to be talking about Walmart's Black Friday deals for their Blu-rays and 4K and DVD and all that stuff. Uh, I actually was thinking about not doing this video because it's going to be fairly short. Let's just be honest, let's get that out there and say it's going to be short, and it's not because there's not a lot that's going to be on sale. It's because they don't show you everything that's going to be on sale. So it's impossible to see everything that's going to be on sale. And even when you do get a link that maybe kind of shows you some of the titles that are going to be on sale, usually there's a bunch of titles in there that end up not being on sale. So, you know, it's it's really hard to work with uh, Walmart. I hate like doing it with Walmart because, quite frankly... My experiences, Black Friday, Walmart, have not been good. I mean, it seems like every other station they have set up for everything else in the store is perfectly fine and normal and people act like reasonable human beings. But when it comes to the DVDs and the Blu-rays and whatnot, it just becomes a trough that people greedily dig through without caring whether or not they're damaging anything. Uh, just to get whatever title they want. And it's just like, it represents everything soulless and evil and wrong about Black Friday, and I just don't like it. But, I do like saving a lot of money on Black Friday, so, well, let's talk about some of the deals at uh, Walmart this year. Now, these are all DVDs for $1.96, as usual. I believe they've done DVDs for $1.96, for got to be at least four or five years running now, if not more, and uh, they've got a bunch of 396 Blu-rays and DVDs, mix of Blu-rays and DVDs. Uh, kind of hard to see what they have going on, but uh, I can tell you right now that's Spider-Man: Homecoming right there for four dollars. Uh, I believe that's Hotel Transylvania 2, the Angry Birds movie. Home Alone, I believe that's actually the cheapest that Home Alone, the 25th Anniversary Edition, has ever been. So, worth taking note of that one. If you don't already have it, because that's like a much nicer transfer of the movie. And $4 is a pretty good price for it. Now, it's not necessarily like an incredible price, because... I believe you can get it right now for like $6 or something crazy like that. So it's not like it's something that's going to cost a lot of money either way. So, you know, if you can get it for, for $4, that's great. If not, um, whatever. So I increased the size a bit so we can tell what the hell is even going on here. In fact, I'm going to increase it a little bit more because that's just, it's a little crazy small. You know what I mean? So... Here we have it. Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle on Blu-ray for $6. I believe Best Buy, I, I can't remember which one it is, but one of these other stores has it for this price as well. And then they have, uh, Best Buy has the 4K for $10. So that's worth keeping in mind if you care about 4K. Uh, the Greatest Showman for $6 on Blu-ray, I believe is the lowest price on Blu-ray. Uh, Rampage for $6 on Blu-ray is at least one of the lowest prices for it. Pacific Rim Uprising on Blu-ray for $6 is, again, one of the lower prices. Fate of the Furious uh, F8 for $6, that's a pretty good deal. Split for $6 is an alright deal. John Wick 2 for $6 is the same price that you're going to find it for at Best Buy. And then Justice League for $6 on Blu-ray is an all right deal if you care about that, but I, I think most people don't actually like Justice League, so, well, I don't know. What are you going to do? <laughs> so now we get down to the 796 titles, and we have Jurassic World for $8, essentially. I know it's 796. It's four cents off. Four cents. Oh, my God. It's $8, you guys. <laughs> That's the same price that it was at Best... Or it's going to be at Best Buy... Deadpool 2 for $8, I believe is the same price as Best Buy. Um, uh, the rest here are DVDs. The rest are DVDs. And now we get to the $9 4K titles. 
Now, remember, there are some $8 4K titles at Best Buy, but these are $9 4K titles, and uh, it looks like some 3D titles as well, maybe. No, those are just regular Blu-ray. Okay, so it's just some pretty popular Blu-rays that are also going to be $9 here. All right, so for $9, the Blu-ray uh, Ready Player One, but that's $6 at Best Buy. So, I mean, it's really not that good of a deal. $9, A Quiet Place, I believe it's $8 at Best Buy. So, I mean, you could cross-reference on my video if you want to. So, yeah. Uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, the brand new movie for four, on 4K for $9. It's a pretty good deal, especially if you already have the uh, 25th Anniversary Edition 4K set, or if you plan to get it at... Uh, Best Buy when it goes on sale during Black Friday. Uh, that's a pretty good pickup right there. John Wick 2 for $9. I believe it's $10 at Best Buy. That's a good one. Uh, Hotel Transylvania 2, I believe. That might be 3 but I think it's 2 for $9. This is an alright deal. Skyscraper just came out, and I believe it's $10 at Best Buy, and it's $9 here. Deadpool 2 is... Uh, nine dollars here again. I think it's like either ten or fifteen at Best Buy. Uh, the new Tomb Raider movie for nine, Rampage for nine. I think that's the best deal you're going to get on that one as well. Uh, Wonder Woman for nine is a little bit better than it was at. Where did I get it for ten dollars last year? I can't remember. I think it was Best Buy that had it for ten dollars. Uh, so at nine dollars, it's a little bit better. And then probably the best deal on this entire little thing here is The Greatest Showman for $9 on 4K. That is the best price it is going to be anywhere during Black Friday this year. So if you're interested in this movie, and I am, uh, then $9 on 4K is the best deal. And Walmart is the one that has it. And, Seems like this is par for the course for me. There's always one or two titles that I actually kind of want to get for the price that they're at. But then I have to convince myself to actually go to Walmart to get one or two titles on Black Friday. I mean, it just... It's very hard to do. It's very hard to convince myself. And there are a bunch of uh, TV titles and other things here for $10. And these are all DVD. So if you care about any of them, then go for it. But I honestly don't see anything here that's just like a must-have DVD on or TV on DVD title. So, I don't know. You may disagree with me on that. And you can go ahead and get any of these if you want to, if you disagree with me on that. But that is all of the sales that we know about, at least, that they're going to have for Blu-rays and DVD and 4K at uh, Walmart this year. Now, it does say that in the $4 range, even though there are only like a dozen listed here, there are over 180 of them actually in store. And here at the $6 range, it says there are 70 titles in store. Uh, at the $8 range, there's 30 titles, so not as many here. And then at the $9 range, which there are some pretty interesting titles in here at $9, there are over 50 at that price range. So take it or leave it. If you want to take a chance and go to Walmart and see if that they have a lot of decent deals here, at like over 180 for $4, then be my guest. Go for it. But, you know, personally, I go in assuming that the titles I see here that I want are the only ones I'm going to find there if I'm lucky to even find those. So unless you can find like a decent amount of titles here to actually go to the store to get, I don't I don't see the point in going. If it's only a, like a handful of titles that you actually want then, you know, what's driving you to be there on Black Friday or even a few days after? <laughs> the madness is just oof. no thank you but anyways that's my personal opinion on the matter regardless of that opinion uh, not too bad not too bad for Walmart this year there are some pretty interesting deals here 
that beat out even Best Buy. Uh, so it's not like they're just not keeping up or anything when it comes to physical media. They are. My only complaints are that they really don't care about competing online, and that pisses me off because it's just like, you know, I prefer to shop online. I do. So I don't have to go and practically get myself killed in a store to get some freaking Blu-rays. Okay? I prefer that, Walmart. I prefer that. Okay? So the fact that they specifically make it almost impossible to get any of these deals online during Black Friday. Like, if you're hoping maybe their website is going to have these titles online uh, for sale online, good luck. Last year I got lucky and they had a couple that I actually wanted for sale on their website, but they literally just take a handful of the ones that they have listed in the sale on the ad here and then put that on their website as uh, online Black Friday deal. If you want to get all of these, you have to go in store. You have to. They're trying to get you to go to the store. And it just ugh, drives me nuts. Because it's just like, well, if you're really trying to compete with Amazon, then why aren't you actually competing with them by actually providing the same kind of deals on your website? But I digress. Uh, that Honestly, if you've heard me talk about this before, then you know this is not a new rant for me. So, yeah. Anyways, that'll do it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace.